Good afternoon, SPF. Welcome back to Raider News. I'm Abby. I'm Max. Club Inc. is meeting today to play Halloween games in a mummy-making competition. Please meet in the cafeteria at 2.30. On behalf of the SPF Italian program, we would like to thank Houdini's Pizza Laboratory for their very generous donations. Grazie mille. Thank you to everyone who voted for their favorite Italian 2 3D project for Italian American Heritage Month. The winners for Ms. Kudron's class are Mia Casacello and Jay Jax Atande. The winners from Ms. Lambert's class are Catherine Velez Acuna and Gianna Luco. Attention, Italian Club is meeting today at 2.30 p.m. Please be sure to pay your dues before then. Grazie. There will be a quick mandatory meeting for the current Spanish Honor Society members today right after school in room 279 to discuss upcoming events and active membership requirements. Attention all interested softball players. There will be a meeting today at 3 p.m. in room 150 for all athletes interested in playing softball in this spring season. Please make sure every effort to attend as many things will be discussed on this day. The Environmental Club is excited to announce its next guest speaker event. On Wednesday, November 6th, we will be meeting with John Crockholm during the common lunch in the auditorium. John Crockholm is the project manager running the, an environmental assessment for a 315 million multifaceted expansion and reconstruction of Colorado's I-70 Vail Pass. His work in designing wildlife crossings not only saves human and animal lives, but saves taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars. All are welcome to attend. We hope to see you there. Friday and November 1st, we're off from school for Diwali. Diwali is the Hindu festival of lights, and we interviewed students who celebrate to learn more about the traditions and celebrations of Diwali. Come take a look. Today I'm here with Atharv. Atharv, how do you celebrate Diwali? Uh, me and my family, we light diyas around our, um, our whole house in each room, and then at night, we have our prayer ceremony in our living room. Do you have any specific traditions for Diwali? Um, yeah, so we all wear traditional Indian clothes to the prayer ceremony, and then after we my mom makes traditional Indian sweets and we all eat them after the prayers. All right, thank you so much. Okay, I'm here with Jay Sharma. Could you tell us a little bit about Diwali and how you celebrate? Yeah, yeah. so it's a festival of lights and we celebrate, we celebrate with our family and eat sweets and <laughs> light, <laughs> light fireworks. Okay, thank you so much. I'm John, I'm here with. Do you sure? So what is Diwali? It's the festival of lights. How do you celebrate Diwali? We basically like light, like um, put like lights all around the house, light like oil lamps and like burst firecrackers. Today I'm here with Senior Chris Mather. Chris here is going to be celebrating Diwali this Friday. Chris, do you mind running us through the origins? Of Diwali? So basically, Diwali is the Hindu festival of lights, which celebrates the return of one of her gods, Lord Ram, from exile, because um, and when he returned home. Uh, his entire palace was was um, lighted up with diyas, uh, and um, to greet him um, since he was returning from exile, and that's basically how the origins of Diwali started, and it is celebrated um, by us Hindus, and um, it is celebrated widely across um, India and the globe, and um, yeah, that's how we celebrate Diwali. In terms of your own traditions, what do you usually do during the celebration? So on Diwali, what I usually do is um, we eat, um, me and my family, we eat um, Indian sweets and we also um, wear um, Indian clothes um, throughout the day. We also have like a prayer ceremony at night, what we do. And we light the whole house up with diyas as well as lights. Do you have a favorite dish for Diwali? So I really enjoy eating sweets. One particular sweet I enjoy eating is called gulab jamun. It is like a red syrupy and sugary dessert. Well, Krish, thank you for joining us and um, have a good weekend, SPF. All right, thanks for having me.